the wind the wind is blowing now if you're a parent you tell me what that song is <laughs> the phone will be right there there's an animal in trouble somewhere hello my friends and welcome to a new studio vlog happy new week this is going to be my 10th studio vlog which is crazy i can't believe this is the 10th one i think i started it about 11 weeks ago because i did have a one week off um the other week so this is studio vlog number 10 which is crazy um but yeah i just wanted to quickly say thank you if you have subscribed and liked and commented followed me on instagram um it's been a really weird 10 slash 11 weeks um i did not expect to even have um the amount of subscribers i have so far i think because i can't see on my computer there's over 200 subscribers that is freaking crazy to me because i didn't think like that would be possible in this short amount of time but um it just goes to show the power of community i think because um other artists on instagram that are just so supportive of me and they share me on their stories and um we we all share each other and we come together as a community and you know cheer each other on and i think that's really helpful when it comes to growing something from scratch like um for example when adele had a shop launch it went crazy because everyone just honed in everyone shared it and everyone supported it and it's the same sort of thing for when i started my youtube you all told me to do it and so i kind of bit the bullet and tried to um you know get over my anxiety really of doing this and just do it and now there's over 200 of you here and that is just absolutely mind-blowing so thank you it's monday it's actually very near to four o'clock in the afternoon i'm only just picking up the camera today but i've had an interesting couple of days um if you follow me on instagram you'll know i changed the office around again because apparently that's just what i do change it around every week <laughs> Um, you can see the edge of a little table here um, it's one of those Ikea ones that attaches onto the wall and then you can have it like drop leaf so it you can either have it up as a desk or you can have it down and it's like got a little shelf unit it's not actually properly on that wall because yesterday um, Dave and I spent so long trying to get it to fix to this wall it was not easy um, <laughs> it's still not done i'm waiting for some other screws or something to come from amazon because they didn't have any in b and q or screw fix or anywhere else we looked um today but yeah that took up most of my sunday and sunday happens to be my what i call my busy day because i do all my admin on a sunday and i do all the work for my social media work for um you know my, my other job as i call it um i do all that on a sunday so i didn't get around to packing everyone's orders yesterday so i had to finish it this morning so i did that this morning and then i spent a few hours with the boys and my mom downstairs um we were playing on the ring fit adventure on the nintendo switch um i always call it a wii switch and my kids think it's hilarious um because before the switch we had the wii and it's confusing and i always say should we play on the wii switch and they're like mom you said so this could a nintendo switch <laughs> but i do it anyway so yeah we got this game called ring fit adventure and basically what it is is you get the game but then you get this like ring that you put the i was gonna say nunchuck that's not right either the joy con into and then you get a leg strap as well so you have the ring you have the leg strap and it's like an adventure game so it reminds me of like mario and a little bit like pokemon go because you're yeah um, you come across like little monsters and stuff and to get it to your character to move you have to run 
um, and then to get it to like jump you have to do all these things and it helps you get fit at the same time as you play in the game which is a genius idea especially for children because my eldest son a little bit um has a little bit of weight that he wants to get fitter and healthier so we thought this was a good idea to um help with that and we had so much fun on it it was so much fun um i didn't get a go because um ollie had a go and then charlie wanted to have a go and then i had to come to work so i'm gonna have a go tomorrow though for definite because i want to get fitter as well and um, i do miss the days where i was really fit and I could walk up the stairs without being out of breath. <laughs> um, so it would be nice to get a little bit fitter again. So that's what I've been doing today. So yeah, I've just come into the office now. I need to finish packing my Patreon boxes. I think I did record some footage of me making some of the goodies that are going into the Patreon box this month. Um, so yeah, I'll probably put that footage before or after. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Um, if you are a patron, top tier patron, you probably will have had your box before this vlog goes live. That's weird. Um, so, but if you haven't and you don't want to see, then maybe don't watch some of this until you've got your box. But I am going to show a little bit of what's going in the patron boxes because I've been testing the new notebook maker and let me tell you that is not as easy as it looked I thought it was going to be this like really easy technique <laughs> really easy to make but it is not it took me hours just to make these notebooks um, and they're all blank on the inside because I don't yet have a laser printer to print the insides and when I tried to do it on my inkjet printer it just took all my ink so yeah I'm babbling now anyway but <laughs> basically I need an inkjet printer no I don't I need a laser printer to um, better do the inserts for the notebooks that I want to bring out so once I've got a laser printer and I've better honed in on my technique of making notebooks because it really was a pain um, they will be up on the shop I am not even sure how or what or how much or any of that yet um but obviously the amount of time it takes is gonna have to be reflected onto the price because i think it's going to be a long process <laughs> but i really want to do them because i love notebooks i've already made one for myself um it's here hold on and i've already been writing in it this morning my to-do list but basically i print out um the front and back so this is the back just says my little thing um on card and then it's laminated and then the front of my one i put okay doodle notes and a little cute doodle i did and then the inside of this one is just blank but i want to be able to do like lined paper or to-do lists um and kind of have fun with the insides so that's what I need the laser printer for um, to do that without using all my ink all the time. So yeah, I'm having fun with that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and finish my Patreon boxes. I'm going to show you me packing my Patreon boxes and you can have a little sneak peek at what they're going to get. Um, the theme for this month's box is sunshine because it has been so sunny this month. And last, um, the last box was rainbows. So we're kind of going in you know a weathery kind of direction with the patron boxes for now because you all know i love to draw rainbows and sunshines and clouds and stars and all that they are my favorite um so that's the theme so you're gonna see me doing my patron boxes and i'm gonna shush now and i'm gonna go to work so i've babbled this is eight minutes long i'm gonna have to cut some of this out <laughs> probably not anyway happy monday me again, still Monday. I actually came on the camera before I babbled for eight minutes about nothing to say. I wanted to document the moment because I made a plan to go live on Instagram tonight. Um, ooh, I'm just thinking about it, it's making me anxious. Um, but I'm announcing the winner 
of my giveaway that I did um, for hitting 5k on Insta. I'm going to do it live because I've wanted an excuse to go live but I've been too scared <laughs> to do it. Um, the difference between doing this is I can edit anything out. Like I've literally restarted this video a few times. Um, which sometimes I put into like blooper videos and so you can see where I've just been awkward or I've done something stupid and I can edit it out um, but when you're live none of that none of that <laughs> it's it's raw and that is scary to me and also I have the fear of nobody coming on when I go live or me not knowing what to say and um, I'm one of those people that doesn't like the phone so I won't make a phone call um, unless I know who it is then I'm okay, but I won't make a phone call because I, it's the fear of the unknown, of not knowing who you're getting on the other end or anything. So there's been times where I've got so tongue-tied on a phone call, I've just hung up. I've hung up on so many people, but I can't do that on a live because, you know, that's rude. <laughs> I mean, it's rude to hang up on people on phones, but that's my anxiety. Um, I, I've hung up quite a few times and then had to ring back and apologise or get Dave to apologise yeah i'm going live tonight i wanted to um document this moment because you know it's a big step for me i didn't ever think i would sit like this in front of a camera with my anxiety and that is something that i have conquered this year and my next um milestone is the going live on instagram so i'll let you know how it goes guys um and if you do join me on my live i maybe maybe i'll vlog while i'm live and you can all say hi to yourself that would be cool wouldn't it Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar Another glass and I am going places Makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I don't really care about the music on the dance floor different top on because I got changed um to go live on Instagram because I got stuff down my other one um it was actually toothpaste <laughs> um 
yeah so i've just been live on instagram and oh my god was i scared uh, yeah i think i very nearly had a panic attack just before i went live um just because i was so scared and then i spent probably about 10 minutes going i'm so scared i'm so scared um because i was but i'm glad i did it Um, it was another thing to check off my um you know getting out there and you know stepping up my comfort zone checklist um so yeah i've done that um the competition winner was announced and it was a follower called nikki lee so i've contacted them just now and they're gonna get the competition win so yeah i'm so excited right now um and still very like i don't know i feel i'm still sweating i feel it's still um a bit anxious you, you can tell like because my voice is all like jittery that's an anxiety thing um, and I'll say um a lot when I'm anxious as you know if you like um if you hear from the beginning in my first vlog I said um a lot I still do it now but I'm getting better in front of the camera um but yeah I just went live whoop 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 kill me mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. you did it you did it you smashed that goal woo hey guys happy tuesday um i'm just on my way out to go and pick up my new laser printer i shall take you with me today because we don't get to get out of this office very much do we so let's go for a drive and pick up my printer why do i make things complicated why do i lose all my control oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits Make us both come crashing to the floor Something to save us Close but we're strangers Feel like we're far apart Hello my lovelies, I have happy mail today from Nutmeg and Arlo. I haven't ordered from um, Nutmeg and Arlo before but um, I have wanted to. Um, but I was on her page and I saw these new um, washi tapes that she had bought out and you know when you see something and you're like I have to have it, I have to, um, it's a bit of me. This is how I felt when I saw these so I am unboxing my purchase today from there and um, look how cute her tissue paper is I think this is the no issue tissue paper and I really want to be at a place with my business where I can have my own tissue paper packaging and design it but as you can see all of this is a bit of me um, and it's pink so I love it but let's get on to the important bit here is her thank you card thank you so much and then it has her details on the back um that is cute so i bought two washi tapes and look at this packaging look they're in boxes and it has nutmeg and arlo um on it and this is just beautiful this packaging is just amazing look it is goals. So the first washi I got, um, actually I'm gonna show you this one first because this is the one that I saw and I was like, I have to have this. This is a bit of me. And it is, oh my God, you get so much. Um, rainbow and stars. Look at that, look how much you get. I think it says on here that it is 10 meters, yep. So I'm gonna try and pull this out a bit so you can see it a little bit better. 
how cute oh my god i just love it it is going to spruce up my packaging and um, especially because i've run out of my lilac one that i bought already um, this one is going to spruce it up and then I saw this one and thought I'm going to have to have this one as well which is just the rainbow um, stripes and it is just beaut I love them both equally and I I'm gonna, think I'm going to Oh, I was going to keep them in the packaging, but I've got a little tape dispensers that I would probably be easier. But look at this packaging. Isn't that just the cutest? I love it. I want my own packaging like this. <laughs> One day, this will be me. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd show you them that I got from Nutmeg and Arlo. Um, such... A lovely little shop um, I really like everything that she's put out so I might have to make another cheeky order at some point because she has some really gorgeous pins and you know I love a pin but yeah I'm gonna go now because I'm actually sweating it is so muggy hot today that it's not even sunny it's actually been raining but it is just muggy and I don't like it so I'm gonna go put my fan on and I'm gonna get a little bit more work done um i think today i'm just gonna make some notebooks because i need to practice more i've got a couple of people who have ordered one that i did at a special price just because i need to practice and i've said they might not be like a hundred percent because i'm practicing still um but yeah i will probably show you that when i have done them or while i'm doing it let's see shall we okay then goodbye it's been quite a busy week for me and I'm just packing a few orders here right now um, to take to the post box in a moment. So I thought I would just pop the camera on while I'm doing this and chat with you guys. Um, I've been a bit quiet this week on my social media. Um, a few people actually messaged me again <laughs> whenever I go a little bit quiet I get a few little messages off the loveliest people just checking in and seeing if I'm okay which is really nice that people are thinking of me but to be honest it's just been really busy um yesterday I took most of the day to just give my house a deep clean because um it gets a bit left behind when I'm working because obviously I work at home the allure to stay in my office all the time is quite big um so my stickers so sometimes things get left out like the housework i think oh well, i could just go and work for an hour instead of cleaning and i tend to just do that instead and it's not ideal um but yeah so just thought i'd record a few bits while i'm posting well packaging post to go these are just shooting out of my shop you love this one i think should i um do another you've got this in a different style maybe because it seems to be a quote that everybody loves because you know it's really positive but shall I try and make another one in a different style and make it into a postcard? I don't know. If you think I should do that, then leave me a comment below. Maybe with some ideas of what you would like to see on a You Got This postcard. Like, I tend to go for rainbows and clouds and sunshines, but I would like to start drawing some other things. So, what should we put on a You Got This postcard? I don't know. I don't know. I'm popping out in a minute um, with Jodie. We are going down to the shops to just have a little look around, grab a takeaway coffee and just have some friend time. And then later on today, my husband has all of his friends coming from up north. I can't take the back off this sticker. <laughs> um, so I don't know if you know this, but um, Dave is from Cheshire, Runghorn, if you know Runghorn. <laughs> um, he's from up north and 
I met him online 15 years ago when it was very taboo. I put a post on Instagram yesterday actually and so many people said they met their other halves online as well, which is so cool. But back then, 15 years ago, wasn't the done thing. Um, anyway, we met on a forum and then we all met up and I met Dave and then I went to work in Tenerife for a month and I flew back to Liverpool and didn't leave. I just stayed with Dave <laughs> because I kind of liked him. <laughs> um, so we lived in Runcorn for, I don't know what, seven years I think. We had Ollie, Ollie and Charlie were both born up in Whiston which is a suburb of Liverpool so technically my kids are Liverpudlian I guess. <laughs> Um, I'm going on a tangent now aren't I? Yeah so we lived there for seven years and then I missed my hometown which is Malvern and you can see why I missed it if you um, uh, watch my Instagram stories or whatever you can see the view and you know the type of place that Malvern is. It's just beautiful. It's a lovely lovely place to raise your children. Um, but I got really 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 homesick and so we decided together to move back down here and anyway i digress what is happening today is some of those friends from and family from up north are coming down here to celebrate the fact that liverpool won the league we are big liverpool supporters in this house always have been i was a liverpool supporter before i even met dave so that was nice um and yeah, they're coming down, they're gonna celebrate in the garden. Um, socially distanced in the garden with some of our neighbors and friends from down here as well. And yeah, they're doing that. So that is what is happening today. So I'm popping out before they get here. So then when they get here, Dave can just do his own thing and I can look after Charlie and Ollie as well. But because he's a teenager, he doesn't need that much looking after. Um, but you would be surprised. Teenagers do still like, they still, contrary to popular belief, they still like a mum hug. They still like to be coddled. <laughs> and they still like it when you make their breakfast and things. I have noticed. If I make Ollie's breakfast and he hasn't made it himself, he's like super happy. Um, so I tend to do that sometimes. So he does need to make his own breakfast because, you know, independence is a big thing as you're growing up. He needs to learn. Um, he's very good at cooking. He likes to cook, which is good for me. <laughs> so, yeah, thank you for sitting here while I pack these few orders. I've got five going today, but it's been a very busy week. I have had to post every day this week because my orders are just piling up. So here's a little greetings card. I had these greetings cards professionally made and they didn't really sell. Um, but they started to pick up a little bit, which is nice. Um, so this little greetings card is going to somebody. It's marked as a gift, so I'm guessing it's a gift. Stating the obvious there, Claire, aren't you? So yeah, I've put it in this little paper bag. How cute are them, these new little paper bags I got? They were quite expensive, but I really liked the colours. Um, and then I pop a little sticker on the back. I grab my doo -doo -doo -doo, thank you card with all my details on the back. And then everybody gets a freebie rainbow sticker, which I like. And then I pop it in the envelope like so on the back goes my return address and a little rainbow on the back that says thank you key workers because they do a great job and then today because i can't be bothered to go to the post office and i'm already going down to the shops i'm gonna pop these in the post box so i have done the click and drop instead of the drop and go and can i get these stickers off their back in no i can't and can you hear charlie he's making a very funny noise that's a very funny noise you're making charlie don't think he can hear me so 
yeah, that is five parcels packed in eight minutes. Uh, but yeah, thank you for sticking with me, even though literally you're just the camera right now. <laughs> but yes, I've got this dress on again. It is my favourite. I love it. And I wear things more than once. What is this culture of people wearing the same thing over and over being like wrong? Like, you know, celebrities don't like to wear the same thing twice, but I do. I When I find something I like, I wear it until I cannot wear it any longer. I'm that girl. But as you know, I'm also very thrifty. So I don't like to have loads and loads of clothes that I'm not going to wear. I like to find what I like and wear that over and over. All right, time to put this rubbish in the bin. And then I'm going to go to the shops and I'll catch up with you guys later. And I've got stuff in my hand so I can't do my... Oh, I can do it with this one. Goodbye. Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits Make us both come crashing to the floor Something to save us Close but we're strangers Feel like we're far apart state of my hair um, it was nice and straight and then I went to rescue my mum because her car broke down um, and it was raining and now it looks like this which is delightful lovely so lovely um, it's Friday have I already said that but I don't know it's Friday as always I'm gonna say it I don't know what footage I've got but this week has really gotten away from me it's been quite busy here um i don't know why the time just seems to be going very very fast but i wanted to show you this that i forgot to show you in the week i had a lovely young lady message me and she said please can i send you something i really like what you do i want to send you something so i said uh yeah of course you can send me something but let me send you something as well because i don't really like getting things without giving back <laughs> Um, I like to send people something so if people want to send me something I'll always send them something of mine even if it's just a postcard anything really um, so I sent her some goodies and she sent me some goodies and her name is Robin and she's on Instagram at RB Illustrations and she's a lovely young lady and um, she sent me loads of stuff in a package and a really nice note if I can find it 
and um, she said hi my name is Robin I have autism and I'm also also only 16 seeing what you do is amazing and the way you keep it real is also amazing i cannot believe i'm doing a box swap with you at the moment i'm working on opening a depop shop and for you to have some of my products is a dream um, and she's gone on to say a few other things and she sent me some really nice stuff but i wanted to show you i think i wanted to show you the little prints that she sent me because they are gorgeous um, she did send me quite a lot and I'm not going to go through it all because um, she also sent me a draft to a book she is writing which I love. Um, as a mom who has an autistic child um, I really appreciated her sending me this because it is about um, you know being different. She says this is a draft I've written for my book and um, it's a children's book about being different and I just think that is lovely um, to have it written by someone who has grown up um, having autism as well. Um, it would be a really nice point of view I think to have and hopefully it goes really well for her. I've just realised my face is really close to the screen right now. Right so I wanted to show you these prints. So she sent me this one which I think is from the film Up, which I love that film. It's such a cute film. I actually might watch it now I have Disney Plus. Uh, but look how gorgeous the colours are in this. How nice is that? That is going up on the wall of art. ASAP. And then she sent me this. How cute. Little sloth love. Love it. And then she sent this and I think this is so interesting like it's like little crystals and then it's got like things inside the crystals so clever I love it honestly so I just wanted to say thank you to Robin for following me and sending me nice messages and supporting me and letting me know all the nice things you said about me and sending me some goodies I really appreciate it and you are fabulous um so that said i'm ending the vlog it's friday but i need to edit this and get it up for my patrons because if you are a patron of mine you get to see the vlogs before everyone else um which is nice i love it when people do that i love it when my, the people i follow on patreon do that and i kind of like get to see the vlog before everyone else and i like that so i do that for my patrons they get that every saturday sometimes they get it on a friday depends how on the ball I am I'm not on the ball this week um, I have to edit this and I still need to go out today so I'm gonna be up late tonight I think <laughs> um so yeah and then a vlog here I don't know what footage we've got I think I showed you the new printer which is going well I think we did some notebook figuring out hopefully the notebooks are going so well i'm really pleased i put a little note on my instagram and i said does anyone want to test a notebook for me so many people replied um and i wanted to give them to everyone who replied before i deleted the post which is what i did i had to delete it because i can't just give them to everyone um and a lot of people were replying so i deleted the post and then i have i think about eight to make um you can see them here look these are two i've made this one is for jody's daughter this one is for my friend laura's um little boy to give to his teacher and they are just gorgeous um let me get one for you i've grabbed eva's so i designed the front and then it just says eva on it and um, so what i'm going to do when i put these up on this one up on etsy is I'm going to edit this bit out. I mean, I'm going to show it on the pictures, but I'm going to edit this bit out so I can say your name or your words here so people can have custom ones, um, which is nice. This one inside is blank, but I do do them lined, and I've just been working on a food diary insert. So watch this space for the notebooks. I'm really enjoying making them, and I think, I hope it's going to be worth it and that they are popular because um, they take quite a lot of time and effort to make and um, so I know the price point is going to be a little bit higher than what you would pay in a shop because you can go to Poundland and get a notebook for a pound but can you get a custom notebook made with love for a pound I don't think so um, anyway I'm gonna go sort my wig out look at it look oh I'm so sorry guys I don't have any makeup on either Ugh. 
I'm a state. I am a state. And I couldn't be able to get my tripod out. So you're currently on the unit next to the new printer. Mm, oh, we've got the fan on as well. I bet you can hear that as well. Um, it's really hot. So yeah, just wanted to show you the lovely stuff I got from Robin because I forgot earlier in the week to do it because it's just been a mad week. I'm going to put these up on my wall here in a moment um, and then later I might go and look for some new art to put up on this wall and some stickers on my sticker board because I love to support other small businesses so I'm going to go have a mooch on people's shops and give some people some cha-chings. So yeah um thank you for watching as always it always amazes me how many people watch my vlogs a little old me of vlogging um so yeah if you do like the video please give it a thumbs up and think about subscribing because that helps me grow so much i have no idea and it is absolutely free of charge for you to do those things um yeah also, if you are a patron of mine, thank you very much for all your support this week. I have posted quite a bit of stuff on my Patreon this week because I've had some wobbles and <laughs> wondered why I'm doing some things and you guys have given me so much support and I love it. Also, hope you really enjoyed your Patreon boxes because I enjoyed making them this month. Um, I think I showed you the footage of me making them. Um, so yeah, thank you my lovely patrons. I will leave my Patreon link below because if you would like to join the awesome human club, you are more than welcome. If not, that's fine too. I love you guys. I love you guys. I will see you next week for another studio vlog. We're getting closer. We're getting closer. Ooh.